Hey everybody, this is Tom Arbor and I am back from the Turtle and Tortoise Preservation Group meeting in Mesa, Arizona. I got back yesterday and what a trip it was. And Jeremy Thompson and Dave Mifsa did a wonderful presentation on their trip to South Africa where they saw at least three species of hinchbacks and quite possibly a fourth. So that was a super exciting event. I, I didn't vlog there. I didn't take any, any extensive video to show you what that experience was like, mainly because it was my first time. But I wanted to let everyone know that it really was an amazing trip. Phoenix was really easy to get to. Mesa is easy to get to from Phoenix. That's at a nice small convention center. Um, met a lot of new people, great people. What I really liked about the conference is that it's a collection of everyone involved in the turtle world, uh, from researchers that are working in academia, to professional zookeepers and zoo curators, people from around the world. We had people in Costa Rica and Germany there, and finally regular uh, keepers uh, like you and me. So, you know, it was quite a trip. Uh, I was super impressed with it. Wonderful talks, wonderful field trip. I strongly recommend everyone check it out next year. It is always in Mesa, Arizona. What am I? So I'm I'm back here today, and I'm with my turtles again, my tortoises. And what I thought I'd do today is just show you a little bit of the rundown that I do when I'm going to feed my western hinchbacks or the Canixus nagui. So let's take a look. So what we have here first are uh, rose hips and hibiscus petals dried from Capadello Farms. That's Will Espen Shade's place. And then to the right, one over we have moringa leaves. That's a tree that's very high in nutrients. It's an Asian species, but I'm using it for the tortoises and it's something Will also sells. And then moving on to the right, we're gonna throw in some white mushrooms there from the grocery store, some Zoomed uh, natural forest turtle food, and some spring mix. That particular spring mix is from Walmart. And what I like about this spring mix is that it doesn't have any spinach in it and it doesn't have any beet greens. So those two things uh, have a lot of secondary compounds that you know a lot of people are nervous about feeding tortoises. So you don't have to worry about pulling spinach out of this spring mix. So what we'll do, we'll take the hibiscus and I've already done this in the rose hips and the moringa and the Zoomed natural tortoise food. And then we put those in water and we stir them all up and let that soak for about 30 minutes or so and let those pellets soften up. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is chop the mushrooms and I like to cut these into uh, pretty small bits because if you don't, the tortoises will just uh, pick those little bits of mushroom out and only eat those. So what we are trying to do here is to get everything into nice small pieces um, so that there's more surface area for those dried uh, foods to stick to. So we're back, it's about 20 minutes later. Let's check the mash and see how it looks. Um, we don't need those pellets to totally soften up, but this is good, this is what we want, and let's add all the other ingredients. We're putting the spring mix in there. Rinse it off the best we can. Head tortoise. Dump that in, mixed with our hibiscus and the moringa. What we're trying to do is get as much of that zoo med to stick to the mushrooms and the lettuce leaves. So we take that mix, put it on a paper plate, and we just provide it to each one of our tortoises. Brownie's got some food, but she's not quite ready to eat it. Rocket, he's not shy. He's going to eat all of his food. And finally, we've got Shelmer. He's going to eat too. So that is a little bit how I feed my western hingebacks. You'll notice it was mostly plants. 
I'm back from TTPG. They haven't eaten in a couple days, so they're hungry. They're going to eat that stuff up. Bottom line, come to TTPG. It was a great place. I got to meet Jeremy Thompson in person and watch him and Dave Mitzud give their talk on South Africa. It was awesome. Will Espenshade of Capadola Farms, he talked. He is the person that I, I buy my dry materials from. Great talk. Great to meet Will. TTPG. Come next year, Mesa, Arizona, 2020. Go Hinchbacks.